Okay, so I got this in the mail tonight. Um, an unnamed document. Okay, he knows it's an objection. So basically, I have said to the judge, just throw out this whole divorce because it was based on lies. You know, just throw it out. My husband can stay married and keep his word regardless of how I feel. That is what a man is supposed to do, right? He made a huge commitment. We're not talking about a job here. We're talking about a marriage, a huge commitment, right? So I think he should keep his commitment and take responsibility for his actions. He not only threw me and said sorry, but then Leandro's trying to say he never threw me. So that's pretty offensive right there that he lied about that. He goes behind my back to his parents, lies about my about his wife uh, to his parents as usual. Um, he, he did this years ago when I had three little ones and I kind of just thought, wait until I get on my feet. Just wait. Three oh. little ones, there's not a lot you can do, right? So, um, you know, he doesn't want to take any accountability. And he has said that basically now he's trying to blame me again for the divorce. So, um, yeah, I did, um, require a fault divorce because it was a cross petition for not only, uh, domestic abuse, which he did do and cruelty and abandoning his whole family on skid roll row road here. It says here that, um, he is assuming Kevin and you know that what that word means when you do that, um, that I am displeased with the court. So that's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is I think regardless of how I feel, which is I will never trust him again. And I've examined my heart and I'm like, could I ever trust him again? And the answer is no, not after he just left his family and trashed his family. No, I will never ever trust him again, nor will I ever get back with him again. But do I feel like he still needs to stay committed? Yeah, he does. And I am enjoying life without him. I don't have this guy tearing me down every single day like he started to do. I don't have a guy demanding my attention all the time and telling me not to work because he wants my attention. I don't have someone screaming at me and saying, I'm going to kick your ass. I don't have someone pushing me. So yeah, I do feel better and I am enjoying my life. But does he still have a responsibility to stay committed? Yes, he does. It's unbiblical to divorce for no reason. And then Kevin tries to blame this again on me. He says, because I feel this way, this statement is evidence of the petitioner's cited cause for divorce. How is that evidence after this happened after the divorce, Kevin? And then um, these differences have developed that have caused this divorce, the breakdown of the marriage. No, Kevin, they didn't start until he pushed me. That's when they started. 